Hello students, I am your Dr. Shri Satyapriya, Director for Shri Shri Academy, Eero Tamil Nadu. Hope you are all staying safe and preparing from home. See, if you are preparing from home, you should be even more sincere. We have completed your syllabus and all of you are towards revision. Okay, once you start with your revision, you should be even more focused to know which are the chapters you should do first. Okay, and how the weightage was over the previous uh, 3 to 5 years. So, these all would help you to make your preparation even more sh sharper. Okay, so, when you are talking about uh, NEET 2021, try to have a minimum score of 650 plus from your grant test. Okay, because if you see the cutoff over the last 3 years from 2018, for example, if you take for open category, in 2018, it was 411. If you are talking about 2020, it was 595. It is almost towards 600. Okay. And when you are talking about uh, BC category, in 2018, it was 374 and it was 470 in 19. And again, in 2020, it came to 558. Not only BC, even for MBC from 326, it rose to 437. Then now in 2020, it was 527. Okay, so, in each and every category, if you are seeing the cutoff mark for the last 3 years, it increases by 100 marks approximately. Okay, so, this is not to threaten you, just you should be even more conscious about these increase in cutoff every year and you should be even more rigorous during this last moment. Okay, so, that is the reason I want you to uh, go through these chapters which I would discuss about and make your preparation more sharper, more focused, more intense. Okay? So, let us go through this video to know which are the chapters that you should focus on first. Okay? Uh, all of you uh, would be uh, finding it difficult with physics, but nothing to worry about physics. I have asked our faculty members to upload some videos on how to solve physics problems, how to approach physics in a more simple way. Okay, there is nothing to worry about physics, it requires a lot of practice. So, when you are talking about, <clears throat> you have around 30 chapters in each and every subject. In case you are good at physics, you are okay with physics, try to solve the questions that we have given in our material for all the chapters. Okay, so that is more important. Do not omit any chapters, okay, because omitting your chapters will, will make you, your cutoff to come down. So, if you are planning at 650 marks, what should be your marks in each and every subject? Minimum you should get 150 in physics, 150 to 160 in chemistry and you should aim at 340 to 350 in biology. Okay? So, at least 350 in biology, 150, 150 in physics and chemistry, only then you will get 650 marks. So, how to get 150 not omitting any chapters? Okay? So, you should focus on all chapters. However, there are some chapters which you should not omit or we can say these are some must do chapters where we get minimum 2 questions every year. Okay, so, let us have a discussion about it for all the subjects. Let me start with physics, do not have aversion of physics, it is equally important to prepare all 3 subjects to have the score of 650. Okay, so, why the 650? That is the score that we are expecting to get into government medical colleges through this NEET 2021. Okay, and it is no way to threaten you just to be more sincere. Okay, so, all those students who scored above 600 last year were not that they were the best uh, students or the, I mean they were not the best uh, minds or best uh, students not that way. They were very very sincere, hard working, consistent with their preparation. Okay, that made our students to be successful. Last year, our topper got 701 marks and got into Ames Delhi. We are happy and proud about him and I want all of you to work with such sincerity and get into the best medical colleges that you aspire to get into. Okay, so, let me start with the physics. You have around 30 chapters in each and every subject. Uh, first, you start with the 50 percent of the syllabus. Be thorough with these 50 percent of the syllabus and then go through the revision of the remaining 50 percent. Okay, so, which part you should focus first. Okay? Every year we have a minimum of 2 to 3 question in these chapters. So, concentrate on these 50 percent of these chapters first. Okay? So, if you are talking about first year syllabus in physics, usually in units and measurements we get one question, but in need we got three questions. 
So, you can look in th those questions are very easy one question was tough the other two questions was very easy kinematics we usually get two questions gravitation two question in kinematics and gravitation in NEET 2020 we got only one question but on a last five years we on an average we get two questions waves and oscillation we usually get two questions waves one oscillation one and in NEET 2020 also we got it in the same pattern thermodynamics we get two or three questions and in NEET 2020 we got three questions and uh, kinematic theory of gas we get one or two questions in the last five years and uh, in NEET 2020 we got two questions rotational motion we usually get two questions and 2020 we got one question this is how the distribution of questions was over the last five years and in NEET 2020 ok. So, you can concentrate on these first year chapters first when it comes to second year chapters in case of modern physics we usually get four questions ok. So, how the questions will be is four to five questions ok. So, atoms 1 and nuclei 1 and either in atoms or nuclei one more question will be there that is atoms and nuclei together we get three questions every year. So, in NEET 2020 also we got uh, atoms and nuclei three questions and the photoelectric effect and matter waves one one each ok. So, there will be around four to five questions in this modern physics and in NEET 2020 we got five questions ok. So, this is the pattern we have. So, concentrate on this modern physics first because the questions in these chapters will be direct and it will be easy formula based ok. And uh, you can also concentrate on wave optics where we usually get two questions and in NEET 2020 we got one question. Current electricity we usually get two or three questions and uh, this year NEET 2020 we got uh, four questions out of which three was easy. Semiconductors usually we get three questions and NEET 2020 we got four questions and all four was easy. And EMI, AC, AC we got, uh, we usually get two questions from this part and 2020 also in AC the, we had two questions. E electrostatics we usually get three or four questions and 2020 we got four questions. These are the second year chapters you can focus on, ok. So, after that you can start with some easy chapters like EM waves where every year you get one question, ok. Whichever chapters you find it easy, you can select those chapters and get prepared. So, with the selected chapters you can what I have listed the 12 chapters or 13 chapters out of the 30 you can sure get 35 questions ok. So, first be prepared with these chapters then concentrate on the remaining chapters. The remaining chapters you will get question but we usually get one question in these chapters. This is how you have to start with your physics preparation. When it comes to chemistry even in chemistry you can be little more selective but however I insist that do not neglect any chapters in chemistry ok because chemistry is a chapter where you, you have to focus to get at least 160 marks out of 180 minimum target should be 160. The marks that I am saying as 150 in physics 160 is in chemistry is after the final marks after your negative marks after setting of your negative marks. So, plan in such a manner. So, in chemistry there are some chapters where we usually get 2-3 questions. For example, equilibrium both chemical ionic both together you get 2 or 3 questions in 2020 also you got 2 questions and P block you get usually 4 to 5 questions same pattern followed in 2020 and uh, in case of D and F block elements you get 1 or 2 questions in 2020 you had 2 questions. Thermodynamics we usually get 2 questions I mean approximately I am saying for the past 5 years and even in 2020 you get you got 2 questions. And in solutions we usually get one or two questions in 2020 we got two questions and one was very easy. And GOC general organic chemistry is a chapter which is a must do chapters to have to answer the remaining part of your organic chemistry. We get two or three questions in that part and hydrocarbons two questions or three questions we get the same pattern every year. And the other chapters uh, of organic chemistry that you can focus on alcohol phenols and ethers all this you get one or two questions ok. Every organic chemistry chapters uh, you get one or two questions and other than that you can also look in for chemical kinetics where you get two questions. Polymers and biomolecules is an easy chapters where you get two or three questions and this year you had uh, polymers two questions sorry biomolecules two questions polymers one question chemistry in everyday life environmental chemistry or easy chapters small chapters where every year you are getting one question and that question will be very easy just go through this 
okay so these are the chapters that you should focus on chemistry in case of biology you get questions at least one question from every chapter and the, don't go by weightage read the uh, material our material that we have given from shri shri academy or ncrt or any other material that you have i don't say that this material is best the other material is not good nothing that way whichever material you are preparing go through the same material i keep on advising you once one simple thing when it comes to biology go through uh, the chapters from the same material either you are going through ncrt or you are reading the lesson from uh, shri shri material or from your class notes read the chapter for instance you are taking plant kingdom read plant kingdom if you are preparing plant kingdom from your class notes always prepare from your class note don't change the uh, content okay don't change the material for content okay because if you are reading from the same material the recall becomes easier after going through the uh, content go through the questions book back questions we have some hundreds of question for every chapter go through the questions and answer those questions okay however you cannot omit uh, any chapters in biology however i can i will tell you how the weightage more weightage which are the chapters you had more weightage every year we get two questions in plant kingdom and two question two or three in animal kingdom uh, in neat 2020 you had three questions in plant kingdom and four questions from animal kingdom cell cell uh, division both together we get five questions and in neat 2020 we had six questions cell unit of life you had two and uh, cell division six questions bio molecules usually we get two or three question this neat 2020 we had five questions okay and other chapters every chapter similar nutrition photosynthesis every year you get two questions plant growth and development two or three questions even in e 2020 you had the same pattern digestion and absorption two question body fluids two one or three and in e 2020 you had three questions there excretion two so these are the chapters every chapter will have two questions locomotion usually we get one or two questions and respiration one or two questions neural coordination and chemical coordination is another chapter where you we usually get four questions and last ne 2020 we had three questions and uh, reproduction reproductive health so these are all chapters where you will get two or three questions and in case of sexual reproduction in flowering plants we get three to five questions and in ne 2020 you had three questions human reproduction three three questions you had principles of inheritance you had four questions in ne 2020 in molecular basis of inheritance in neat 2020 we had four questions evolution in neat 2020 there was three questions health diseases four questions strategies one question we usually get this pattern okay strategies one microbes in human welfare one or two this year we had 2020 we had two questions biotechnology uh, usually there will be some four five questions in neat 2020 there was nine questions biotechnology nine que- sorry three questions and applications there were six questions organisms and populations that last ecology part which uh, we can say organisms and population biodiversity ecosystem environmental issue each part minimum every year you get two questions and in neat 2020 from all this part you had two questions so totally eight questions was there from that uh, part okay so now you know the weightage where there was more questions over the last 5 years and in ne 2020 also start preparing now how should you prepare start your day at 5:30 or 5 o'clock however you are comfortable don't delay beyond 5:30 to start the day and uh, you have 24 hours in this 24 hours 7 hours for your sleep and you can spend the remaining 3 hours for your other routine activities like food uh, or whatever it is and the remaining 14 hours you have to plan for preparation uh, if the exams need 2021 is as per schedule on august 1st you have 70 days to go okay so run very fast be serious if you are at home it is you have lot of time to prepare yourself and we we are there to support you on live we are there on live okay so faculty members are here very much here to support you so it is not that we are not physically close we are uh, technology connects us more easily okay so don't spend your time in anything else don't think anything else okay you are such wonderful kids you are blessed 
to prepare for this NEET 2021 to get into this profession of medicine where uh, the, the do service of doctors are crucial during this pandemic time. Okay, so you are blessed for that and start your preparation rigorously, do well and we are there always to support you.